Hey everyone, it is happy Halloween day to all the leaders out there. This is the leadership call for 1031 Halloween. So we're all excited about trick-or-treating later and handing out all of our Avon um, samples and brochures and all that good stuff and building our business um, through this opportunity that we have in our neighborhoods um, today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share what we're going to be talking about today is really looking at that um, rise up bonus. So and really being able to understand how to get there and looking at planning. So we have some leaders on here that are working, um, you know, they're working for themselves to get that rise up bonus. And then we also have leaders that are working with their downline to help with their leaders. So I just, we just wanted to just go over what it takes to be ambassador, what it takes to be silver ambassador, etc. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, share the screen. So I won't be a minute. Um, all right. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. All right. So what we're talking about here is the advanced leadership earnings chart. So right now, you guys, if you're going up for the rise up bonus, um, you know, if you're a star promoter, a promoter, et cetera, ambassador, et cetera, you are looking at um, getting the rise up bonus. So first of all, what does it take to be a leader? So your first step in the process is to be a promoter, which is where you recruit one person, star promoter. Hey, yep. I, I'm so sorry to interrupt. If you just hit the little picture of the book at the bottom, I think like when we're having folks like clicking, they can see at the bottom right, there's a little picture of a book. Oh, okay. Hang on. on the and screen. I think it'll pop it bigger for us. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, okay. You are a legend, Christy Elliott. I told you that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So ambassador, this is where you start earning commission. So this is where the rise up bat bonus really takes into effect. Um, so an ambassador is when you have $1,000 worth of team sales and $200 minimum are those of your sales, that the leader's sales. Um, but you can, you know, get that $1,000 from, you know, as, as long as that total adds up to $1,000, you're good and your sales are $200. And you have a minimum of three first generation orders. So that means you have three recruits that have placed orders in that campaign. It all has to be done in that campaign. And um, so I just really wanted to go over that because it's so achievable. But we're going to hear from some of the leaders about how, what they're doing to plan because, you know, with this, it doesn't come by just be being lucky. You really do have to plan it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Like how are you planning for success and what are you doing out there? Because there's already leaders out there that have hit that title and um, are ready to keep it going for the next three campaigns campaigns. So I will stop sharing the screen now and we'll go back to our normal, but just wanted to just to reiterate um, the earnings chart and what level you have to be at. Okay. All right. So if we could have some leaders just talk about what they're doing out there, the planning piece of it, if you've got people in different mail plans, what you're doing to ensure that you hit that to hit that bonus so that way you can, you know, you can get those bonuses for you and your downline. And I know Amanda, we, we were, we've been talking about this. She, I know she's working, so I'm not sure if she can speak, but um, she, she knows that she wants to hold on to her ambassador title for, you know, and hit all the sales markers and order markers for the next three campaigns after she's hit it this first time because that gets her the rise up thousand dollars. And while you're at it is what I say, you might as well go for silver ambassador because you need to keep building and that's going to get you an additional thousand dollar bonus when you hit silver ambassador and hold that for four campaigns. And all you need to do is go up by another thousand in sales. So double your team, double your team. If it's, if it's four, make it eight. If it's, 
you know, do, do a little more than that if you can, but just go for that. And I think that you're going to be heading in the right direction towards getting not 1000 but $2,000. And you could actually be earning those at the same time. So let's say that she does 2000 this campaign, her second campaign as an ambassador, she performs as silver. She only has to do that three more times and she's already earning that first one. So she, you can do double duty there, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, and this is the time to earn it. You want to really do this all before January. So this is the big time to do it. So, but planning is, is going to be key. So, you know, getting out there in the field, I know in our representative call, we talked a lot about recruiting. We talked about who's going out there in the community, working with friends, working with, um, you know, their team, you know, it doesn't have to be somebody on your team. It can just be, you know, we've been having sales meetings. Is there somebody at the sales meeting that you guys really clicked with that can get out there and work together? Because a lot of our community has not seen an Avon rep in forever. So this is a great time to get out there and, and really work, work the district and work your areas. And Samantha said something in the chat that she's working with her downline member also. I know that Amanda is doing the same. Imagine this. If you have a downline member who goes for this same bonus you're going for, what are you going to be? You're going to be silver, right? Because it's your total team sales. So that 2000 for silver ambassador is not just your first generation. It's their recruits and their recruits. So it's first, second, and third to count for those sales. So if you want 2,000 instead of 1,000, you gotta get your team working on it as well, and you working on it, and the third piece of the puzzle, if you do 2,000 in sales yourself in a campaign, what do you need to be Silver Ambassador? Three $5 orders, now we don't want that. But, <laughs> but, but if you increase your own sales, you increase your bonus, you increase your odds of getting that bonus. So that is important too, and that's where you're gonna find more recruits. Yeah. And, and I know um, with, with one of my folks who just became ambassador as well, she's really been working on coaching her team to sell and she has a representative underneath her who um, averagely does between seven to $900 a campaign and she's fairly new. So, but coaching your people to sell because it's really going to give, I mean, she will hit the other three campaigns without, without really even having to try because her coaching has been so good as far as selling and, and teaching them to sell and getting out there and leading by example. Um, but, you know, every time I speak to her, she's out giving out books or she's out, you know, giving out, you know, or, or delivering orders or something like that. I mean, she is in the community a lot. And I really do think that's right now where we're really seeing a lot of improvement. But I do know our e-stalls, the sales are picking up. I just spoke to a lot of people over the weekend as well saying, hey, do you know that you have all of this credit in your account? Because people are really starting to to make some movement on the e-store accounts. So like they are. Some, some leaders, Sam, you, you do an awesome job out there. And I know you're working with, with Kayla to get her where she needs to be. So, so anybody else out there want to share what they're doing? Because we, really we really want to hit this mark for you because you don't want to, nobody wants to miss it by a little bit and it's, and it's achievable. That's the thing. I mean, it is achievable. Let me put this question out there. I know that we all know Amanda knows Ambassador was what she was going for. So now Silver is her next bonus. We know Gwenda's going for ambassador, so that's the first thousand dollar level. Does do Deborah and Samantha know what next level they're shooting for right now? What's what are they going for to get rise that money? Gold ambassador, which is four thousand dollars. Awesome. Okay. And Sam's going for leader. Sam's going for leader. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's a bigger bonus. That's great. She's working hard. She's in the field. She's working hard. So she's, she's awesome. So. And, and I see we've got some, some comments in the chat. Gwenda said she's not um, sure how to coach once she becomes um, a, a leadership representative um, since she lives in Wake Forest, North Carolina. 
Um, she knows she can do it. Yes, and we'll support you as you get that first team member for sure, Miss Gwenda. And then Amanda said, I'm coaching teamwork and support. Um, she's regularly checking in on her team more than once a week to see how they're doing, what they may be having trouble with, and how we can fix it. Um, she challenges them so that they can reach the goals together. And um, very, very good at that, very in touch with her team. And I know that has made a huge difference. Um, I believe Amanda, I don't think she's had a downline to miss an order ever since she got her first person. Wow, that's oh. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, so that that is it's amazing because mm -hmm. our percentages in the district are not 100% so 100% is is her doing an unbelievable job um, I think Samantha may have um, said leader yes she said leader so she knows what she's going for she's going for 2,500 is that right am I remembering right mm -hmm. yeah yes. awesome um, I wanted I guess what I need to clarify when I signed up again in 2012 um, Linda, and I don't, you've never, she is from, when my son was just a baby, I met, I got to know her through, uh, when our, we had our manager, and when I re-signed up, um, I signed up on her for to get the credit. We don't get to talk all the time, I actually called her a guest the other day, and we do chat on Facebook, and then Samantha that you all know, I'm not on her to meet with her, but I really don't have anybody above me, that's why I go to Samantha, I don't have anybody over me that I'm on a team with and I think that kind of discouraged me and stopped me because I'm not really on a team I'm with somebody so I think that's where I kind of back off and I, I know I can do this but sometimes I really feel like the only way I can connect is stay with you all and then because I don't have anybody working with me all the time. we just want to encourage you you got the best team leader you could ever have Sarah <laughs> Carter so you're on the team you're on the team you're in district 2860 you're part of the love team well, I said the team. That's no, no. 1490, 1134. They're the team. But I'm just saying, still, you're on like the lowercase. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You have an awesome manager. Two HC has six rocks. I love my district. And and think about this too, Wendy. You're self-employed. Most self-employed folks do not have any support. I've been self-employed most of my my work life. So I know you're, you you've got amazing support. I know um. I do. <laughs> that's me just having a little negativity there. You know, I think that's just being human because I think that's why I get discouraged. But, but, you know, if I wasn't on this coffee talk, on the all one group, and do what I'm doing, I wouldn't be aware of it because I didn't have that five years ago. I didn't have the support because there's times I really wanted to give up. But I've got more. You know, it's different than when I used to go to meetings. And then I was discouraged then, so this is awesome that I can do this. So I know that I'm going to do it. I'm going to get there. And I'm going to stay positive. And, you know, we get back, we just go again. It's awesome to be on there with all these ladies. People, I never would have met you, Christy, if and then for, for um, Sarah. That's right. You know, I would never got to see your Susan or Deborah. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So what else is going on out there? What, what quick tips, sharing tips that we can... Hey, I want to hear who actually, who got Halloween ready? Who did it? Who's got the plan? You got the brochures. You did something, and you're going to do it tonight. I want to hear it. Oh, Samantha says me. Okay, tell us, Samantha. Yeah. Uh, Sam, I wish you could talk. She's awesome. She's got her books ready, and I know her downline. So she's probably typing right now, so I don't want to take away her. But she's ready. She's been She's been preparing for a couple of weeks now, and she's got her downline ready. So... Okay, she's got them already handed out 55 at our trunk or treat. Awesome. She's good. That is wonderful. And Friday night, um, and she got, that was Friday night, and she got 100 for tonight. And who else, who else, even if you didn't already make the plans, who else has got plans now? Amanda said not for Halloween, but she has her book home party Friday and her vendor's event to work on as well. Good. Mm -hmm. Everyone's so excited yeah. they get a treat. That's great, Samantha. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe we should set up outside of gyms from tomorrow on because everybody will be trying to work off the candy that they've had. <laughs> right. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Maybe we could go to like parks and all kinds of stuff. And you know, we have a for tomorrow. We, we've got a place here. Maybe I can sit up for a house. I don't. I have to sit by myself though. I don't have a table. And I tell you what, the mozzies and mosquitoes are really, really bad. So, yeah. 
So, you know, if they're out there, if you see tennis groups out there, if you see people out in the golf, I mean, I, you're not allowed to interrupt them if they're playing golf or whatever. I think Susan can be my etiquette person on that one. <laughs> <laughs> golf is bad. The mosquitoes are bad on the, the golf mosquitoes course. Mosquitoes are and the little gnats. So they're terrible. Advertise that still because... Since we've had the storms and stuff, the mosquitoes are really, really bad. They're spraying mm -hmm. everywhere and doing all kinds of stuff. So just don't forget about that because there's a lot of business to be had out there. I'm like the golf mom and everybody knows that I have bug guard. So hey, everybody on the golf course is like, she's got it. She's got it. <laughs> so it's real easy to get the word out. You just share it. <laughs> And Deborah said that she is working on uh, little flyers to put with um, with the candy. I don't know why I can't read anymore for some reason for this moment. There we go. And then she has an event for church next month too. And Amanda says she's got another thing that she does to help the team is um, she she will book and pay for events and then they'll split the customers um, with different downline members. Um, and then she... Um, with the customers that they receive the contact and I give them a head, a head start um, so that she feels like they can be more successful when she helps them in that way. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Got some good, got some good tips out there. That's awesome. And next week, guys, we want to hear, so write it down, put it in your smartphone, make a note. We want to hear, like, who was Halloween queen? Who got out, you know, I got out this many brochures, I got out this many, you know, I got this many new team members from speaking to people. So, you know, get that out there. And then what Sarah just said about the gyms, this just came to my mind. November and December, it's like tumbleweed blowing through a gym um, if you own a gym. So go to those gyms. She's actually really, really right. Go in there and say, I talked to this lady that used to own a gym and she said, you know, it dies in November and December. So can we partner and I want to hand out your, your guest passes, your flyers to every customer I have. And I want um, to give you brochures to give to all of your customers that are here. And hopefully we can partner together to keep each other built up. Um, and you can tell them this is my boom time. So this is my time where I'm, you know, better. So I think we can help each other. Uh, yeah, those first November and December I ever had as an owner, I thought we're going out of business. But when it wasn't January so. January comes, it's like, woohoo. <laughs> Yeah, so that's where they're I mean, all at. I'll guarantee you, every owner I've ever talked to, it's that way in November, December. Funny, funny, funny. Yep. Yeah. All right, and Amanda says, we went for my Tennessee trip from the weekend. Yeah. She's taking it easy on her ankle because um, she had she had a broken ankle that she's recently had to cast off, and she's focusing on that vendor event. So good. Well, there might be some good ideas, like with the gyms, because I know a lot of the times in, in November, December, fitness centers, they give out, they sell gift certificates to build up their business for the beginning of the next year. And if you could get, a, you know, a flyer in with that gift certificate and partner with them that way, you know, have some printed out, a, 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 you know, a business card or a flyer or something. Mm -hmm. um, and ask, do it. You're right. And ask yeah. for that owner or manager because that employee might not care as much. But that right. owner, when you say free advertisement, they're going to go ding, 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 mm -hmm. ding, because you're putting every campaign, you can put whatever their special flyer they want to put in for that campaign. If it's, right. if it's one, you know, and then you're giving the brochure, you're getting, they're mm -hmm. getting, and you can probably gain a lot of customers at one spot. Right. That manager's going to love you so much. They're going to probably help you collect payment. They're going to help you get out orders. I mean, truly, mm -hmm. I did before I was a representative. So right. they might even let you put some of your some products in there display oh, yeah. <laughs> and also what about yeah. all those people getting there you know going to all of those parties you've got you know um work parties coming up you've got holiday parties you've got thanksgiving you've got so many things so people are out getting their hair done their nails done their feet done all that kind of stuff so so people are out and about you know spending money out there so just being mm -hmm. out in the community right now is really going to be imperative uh -huh. to really make the difference between thousands of dollars in your paycheck with avon really can make a difference mm -hmm. all right and follow up. Follow up. I've got to do more of that. I'm doing more of that. I've got some ideas. I'm, I'm going to be working, doing some stuff. Some Farley, I told you. I'm going to be every day. I'm going to be out. If I 
I work Avon in my life, and that's what you got to do. But I'll be really sick and falling up because I don't. I'm hurting myself, you know. That's right. Anything else from anyone that want to share? Tips, techniques? Well, Samantha's typing. She said she had an aunt contact um, her a few years ago. <laughs> Um, for New Year's, and she wanted goodie bags for the ladies, lipstick, perfume, business card to put in um, the bars that she worked at. Okay, all right. So, interesting. So, yeah, any type of business or anyone who works at a business, anyone who that you know that's the boss of anyone, um, they probably have some type of budget for Christmas gifts or they're buying them themselves, so go to them. Um, she said, so maybe parties do goodie bags and ask them to sit the goodie bags out. That's really good. Yeah, because a lot of them do give little goodies and stuff away at Christmas, you know, do little. Right. That's good. Good, good, good. Lots going on. Lots going on out there. So it's exciting. So we're going to take and we're going to do the same thing for the leader call. If you know a leader that could possibly get on the call next week, you need to bring them aboard. Bring them aboard if they, if they can, yes. if they can pop on. So everybody bring a, bring a friend. So, and we understand some people work, so they get the replay or whatever, but, um, but we'll go from, we will go from there. All right. Well, anything else before we sign off today? I wanted to thank you all so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And we know this week's going to be awesome. We know tonight's going to be great. And um, we look forward to all the success stories and can't wait to hear. What was the thing that we're doing tonight? We're going to celebrate the, who is the, we want to hear who gets out the most books, who gets um, a recruit, who gets potential recruits, who gets an order, how many did you get? You know, we want to hear it, like, tell us, write it down and be like, I got all this. We're going to be so proud. And the pom-poms will come out, I'm sure, from Deb. The queen of Halloween. Queen <laughs> the pom-poms. There you go, Deb. Right had her pom <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, you have a great Monday. Happy Halloween and um, be safe out there. See you. Bye. 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 I'll see you guys in a couple weeks.